guys, how you doing today? Um, I got a couple of smaller plants that I want to get repotted today. This is my crown of thorns that uh, Alicia from over at Alicia's Plants gave to me last summer. And um, she's always been in this pot. I've never taken a look at her. I've never taken her out. I know she does have roots because she's got some give to her. Um, this is a very cute plant. I can't wait to see what she does. So I'm going to get her potted up. I think I'm going to put her in this pot. And then I have... These are cuttings that I took off of my mother plant. Uh, my Purple Passion. And... It is a plant that Linda Sue over at Linda Sue Plants for You give to me. And these are all cuttings um, from the original plant that she sent me. And I just took some more cuttings off of that plant that I want to put over into a little bit bigger pot. I want to get them put into this pot. So let's do that first. And because I want to, I want to hang this plant up. So let's do that. Um, the soil is all fresh, so I will be using the soil that's in here. Squeeze the pot, get it loosened up. There we go. Well, that looks like a really good root system. Really happy with that. Hold on a second. Okay, we'll see if that's better. I had to uh, move my light. So I'm gonna put a little bit of soil in here. That looks pretty good. Oh Lord, I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't get a bigger pot. Because I wanted to put all these cuttings in here. Um, I don't know. I think that'll be alright. Because I'd like to have a nice full plant. And... Uh, Well, actually, oh my god, I just changed my mind again. I just thought of another pot that I can put her in. Hold on. <laughs> okay, nothing like changing your mind 500 times. I'm going to put her in this big pot, and then I have, whoop, I have this basket that I'd like to use again. I love this little basket, and I can hang it up, and I've got a... Oh, if I can get it out, it's stuck now, but there's a saucer tray that I put down in there. And then this pot will fit down real nicely, and then I can hang it up. So, now that I've changed my mind 500 times, which is nothing new for <laughs> it's nothing new for me. But I just, I want to hang this plant. She's been sitting, and I really like this plant to hang. She's just so pretty. Put that down there. Because plus I have all these cuttings that I want to... I'm just going to set her down there. Like that. Get some more soil in here. I should have actually brought my original mother plant in so you guys can see man she's grown like a weed I've taken a lot of well obviously I've taken a lot of cuttings because I've already been able to make this plant and I think let's see what what month was that 
the Linda said, well, uh, I think it was January when she sent me that purple passion plant. It was a starter plant off of her original mother plant that she has. And for those of you that watch Linda Sue Plants for You channel, for those of you that watch Linda's channel, I know you have seen her purple passion plant. So, and it is gorgeous. So mine is actually cuttings from hers. And this is cuttings from the original plant that she sent me. Okay, now I'm going to grab my bowl and I am going to water this in really well and then add my cuttings and wait until I see water coming out here. Okay, the water is coming out. So now I'm going to pick some areas here and start putting some cuttings down in here along the side. I'm going to pop this bottom leaf off. I'm just going to pinch it. Stick it down in here where I made the hole. There's another little piece. I'm going to cut that bottom leaf off. I'm just pinching them off, guys. Stick that down there. God, this is such a beautiful plant. Gorgeous. I'm going to cut that. I'm going to pinch that bottom leaf off. I'll go ahead and take that one off too. Stick it down in there. And let's see here. I've got two more, no, I've got three more cuttings to stick in here. So I'm going to put one down in here and make my hole. Oh, these guys are stuck together like Velcro. I'm going to pinch off these two bottom leaves. Stick that down in the hole I made. Let's see, I got two more, two more cuttings. I'll put them right here. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like standing at this edge or part of the table. I don't think I like, let's cut, took that bottom leaf off. And I'm going to stick it down in the hole I made. And then I got one more hole and I've got one more cutting. I'm going to pinch these bottom leaves off. And these were watered. The mother plant, before I took the cuttings, was watered really good yesterday. There. That is going to be beautiful hanging up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to water it all down thoroughly again.
just so I get those cuttings all nice and saturated. There. Now she will run it out good. There. I can put her down here in this basket. And I think later I'm actually going to exchange my blue macrame cord that I have on here because I just have it tied on to the basket. Exchange it with my white. But there, she looks really pretty in that basket. All right. Got her all ready. Okay. Now, I'm going to... I'm going to move my camera. I can't stand like this. This is weird. Okay. That is better. That angle was just too weird. And I, I felt like I was leaning over the table and it was killing my back. Maybe it was just my back because my back is already killing me. So, alright. I want to take her out. Like I said, she's been in here since, oh god, the middle of summer. And she was just a cutting. This is the Desert Rose. I have no idea what her root system looks like. She's been in here. And, yeah, I mean, she's not pot bound by any means. But... I want to see her roots. She doesn't have a lot, guys. I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought she would have a better root system than that, but... But that's fine. Um, her soil smells fine. I am going to go ahead and just knock her up a little bit. This is the pot she was in. The white pot is what I'm going to put her back into. I don't know that much about crown of thorns. Um, it, it was, like I said, it was just get. Oh, God. I'm trying to clean her leaf off, and I have muddy hands and now I get mud all over. That's okay. But like I said, I don't know that I don't know that much about crown of thorns, so I all I can tell you is um I've had her in a west window and that's where she has been growing. I've never seen her flower. Um, so, I, I cannot really tell you much more as when her pot got a little dry was when I was watering her, and she's been in plastic, so, you know, it's not like I was watering her that often. So if any of you guys have any growing tips, secrets <laughs> for the crown of thorns, um, let me know. Put it down in the bottom section and you can help me out and help others out. And there she is. I've, I'm excited to see what she will do this summer. I'm just going to go ahead and set her down in here where the water was from her and uh, let her soak up what water she wants. And this is my beautiful purple passion from Linda. 
she's absolutely gorgeous and I love this plant she is uh, absolutely one of my favorite plants and uh, very easy to take cuttings from and propagate I learned from Linda because before when I was trying to do it um, I just was not having any luck at all and if you go over and watch Linda Sue plants for you video she has a really great video on how to take care of this plant and how to propagate it and be successful so um, I'll put her name up on the screen and you guys can go check her video out it's really informative and a lot of great information so all right guys that is it my beautiful little crown of thorns propagation that Alicia from Alicia's plants gave me and my beautiful beautiful purple passion all ready and potted up for spring and summer very very happy all right you guys have a great day and I will talk to you later bye oh and be safe you guys Flu season has been kicking our butts, and now we got all other kinds of uh, stuff going on here um, with the COVID 19. Kind of scary. Keep safe and stay well, my friends. Talk to you guys later. Peace.